Basically, AIA got with the San Antonio Botanical Gardens to do playhouses that were going to be built and left here from March till July. I was one of the finalists. I was chosen to, uh, for my design of the Sleeping Beauty Castle. There were five finalists and I was uh, the only student out of the other finalists and the other were architecture friends. Ernest designed it, but then when we went to class, there was another kid, Ernest Cervantes, who actually was kind of like the supervisor, the superintendent. Yeah, it, it was about a, probably about a month process. It was first putting the base, you know, uh, we had to do the framing for it and then uh, putting the plywood on top, creating the base for it, creating all the walls for it. Uh, cutting out the holes for the windows and the walls uh, or the door. And then after that painting, putting the towers up, things like that. Lots of work. <laughs> well, when you start uh, cross-teaching with the classes, they kind of get motivated on their own because they're going to do something that's out of the norm for their normal class, such as architecture. They're going to have to actually get to come over and use tools and get out of their daily routine a little bit and do something they haven't done before. So it's not, it's not hard to get them motivated, especially when they find out it's going to be at the Botanical Gardens. It's going to be seen by tens of thousands of people. This is a whole nother level. To be out in the public eye like this, I mean, students go to competitions and they uh, compete against other schools and they can all e judge each other on that realm. But when you're actually out in the public where people have no idea that high school students are capable of this, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty awesome.